So today we will look at the pros and cons of living in Ventura, California. Now I'll discuss just why people love to live here and what people don't like living here. So Ventura, California is a seaside community located 30 miles south of Santa Barbara and about 45 miles north of Malibu. It has a relaxed small town feel that it's known for its beaches, outdoor activities, and thriving cultural scene. I'm Harold Powell, just a local real estate agent serving Ventura and the surrounding areas. And if you like my videos and want to stay up to date on all things real estate for the area, then I suggest hitting the like, subscribe, and bell icon to be notified of future content. All right, so let's discuss the pros of why people love to live here. Number one, Ventura weather enjoys a Mediterranean climate with an average of 273 days of sunshine each year. The days are neither too hot or too cold. And while my friends in the snow country experience a very wintry cold of 10 degrees or possibly lower, Ventura will typically experience a 50 to 60 degree winter weather. On the flip side, while the most of the country is experiencing triple digit summer heat, Ventura will experience an average summer high of 79 degrees during the month of July. And additionally, while most nationwide cities average 39 inches of rain and 26 inches of snow per year, per actually year Ventura average is 17 inches of rain and zero snow. So if you like the idea of zero snow each year with nearly 300 days of sun, then Ventura may be just what you're looking for. Number two is the outdoor lifestyle. The year round activities are pretty much guaranteed with near perfect year round weather conditions. And the Pacific Ocean, just at Ventura's doorstep, is no surprise that one of the benefits of coastal living is the variety of water sports. Ventura's outdoor activity that is probably most known for is surfing, with several local spots such as Sea Street, Mondo's, and the Rincon, which attracts all different levels of skill. And on windy days, when the waves are getting blown out, you'll find plenty of kite surfing taking advantage of the wind conditions. Of course, kayaking, paddle boarding, sailing, deep sea fishing, and dive boats are all a natural fit to Ventura's water sports and marine life. And of course, if you don't feel the need to get into the water, well, there's always the option of just hanging out on the beach with friends and family. Ventura is a bicycler's paradise with a flat scenic coastal rides all the way up to Santa Barbara. And while the Ojai Ven Valley Trail actually weaves along the Ventura River to downtown Ojai, and riders can experience uh, the Lake Casitas Loop that it climbs all the way up around the lake and descends back down to the Pacific Ocean, all the way back to Ventura. In the hills of Ventura, the Ventura Land Trust has actively acquired acres of open space and the most recent addition is Harmon Canyon, which offers over 2,000 acres of hiking and mountain bike trails with views of Ventura's coastline and the Channel Islands National Park. Now the most recent city sponsored trail is above City Hall, which features the Ventura Botanical Gardens, which showcases five different Mediterranean climate zones of plant life, along with spectacular ocean and city views. And of course, there's the neighboring 1.7 million acres of Los Padres National Forest, which begins in Ojai. And there you can find plenty of hiking, mountain biking, and even gravel biking trails with views of Pacific Ocean and the Ojai Valley below. Now, if you are looking to enjoy activities within the community, there are also many outdoor clubs and activities such as rowing, volleyball, sailing, cycling, and pickleball, just to name a few. The hardest part is just gonna decide which one you'd like to start with. Now, Ventura is one of the quieter beach towns in California with just a population of over 100,000. The downtown area is one of the local favorite places to go with a, its outdoor walkable promenade that stretches several blocks. Locals and visitors alike enjoy dozens of restaurants, bars, wine tasting rooms, microbreweries, theater, diverse shops, and attractions. The downtown offers kind of a mix of architectural styles that span centuries of time, 
from its Spanish heritage, along with a mix of Art Deco and mid-century buildings. One of the most famous shots of Ventura often features actually the City Hall, which was built in 1912 and functioned actually as a city courthouse before being converted to City Hall use. It's actually known for its neoclassical columns, terracotta exterior, and elegant Italian marble foyer that overlooks downtown Ventura. Not far from downtown is the Ventura Fairgrounds, which is a 62-acre seaside event venue featuring such things as the Ventura County Fair, trade shows, concerts, and the most recent venue is the X Games, featuring skateboard and BMX competition. Now, just to the south of the fairgrounds is the Ventura Historic Pier, constructed in 1872. It was originally built as the longest wooden pier in California, and today the pier actually serves as a favorite attraction for fishing, beach house tacos, sunset strolls, and of course, beautiful views of the coastline and Channel Islands. The other local attraction is the Ventura Harbor. It's the place for marine entertainment, activities, and restaurants. And of course, if you want to check out the world's largest mammals, the blue whales, the summertime is the best time to book a cruise and see them hanging out around Channel Islands National Park and the Marine Sanctuary. Otherwise, you can take sailing lessons, rent a paddle boat or kayak, or simply just enjoy the Harbor Beach area. The schools. Ventura is home to many renowned schools and Ventura Community College that offers free tuition for students for the first two years of their education. There are also nearby universities that includes Channel Island State, Cal Lutheran, UC Santa Barbara, and Westmont College. The Art District. The cultural district of Ventura's west side is really where art is created. It's really the home of the art studios, sculptural yards, kiln rooms, and arguably the heart and soul of Ventura art community. And Ventura hosts several great events like the annual Art Walk in Ventura, which showcases Ventura's art, cultural, music, theater, and museum exhibitions. Now, if all of this is causing you to consider Ventura as your next move, and you'd like to know a little bit more about the different neighborhoods, well, I suggest watching my video on living in Ventura, the seven neighborhoods. Otherwise, let's discuss the cons of living in Ventura and the complaints of people living here. Number one is traffic. Really, the traffic, most of the time, is pretty easy to get around the surface street, unless there's really a big event, such as the Ventura County Fair or some other big venue happening downtown. Now, if you do need to take the 101 freeway, either north or south, uh, you're gonna expect you know rush hour traffic either in the early morning or later in the afternoon between four and six. Now, of course, compared to Los Angeles, the traffic is really much more manageable and it doesn't take really that much to get around. Living in Ventura is really a relatively small town for some and won't have the same level of nightlife or excitement or even sports venues as Los Angeles. And Ventura may be a little more on the sleepy side compared to LA or even Santa Barbara, but you are only about an hour away in either direction if you are looking for a little more nightlife or sports venues. Number two, homelessness. Uh, well, it's been reported that there are over 2,300 homeless in our county. Now, the good news is this past year has seen a decrease in unsheltered persons. Now, I've actually personally been fortunate enough to be in a position to help with some of this problem. And my partners and I actually agreed to convert our 30-room motel into a transitional living center. And with the help of local churches, businesses, local government, and our community, we are able to convert the 30-room motel that currently now serves 30 adults and 50-plus children on any given point in time. It has already helped over 400 families get out of homelessness with nearly a 99% success rate of them not returning. Now, if you want to learn more about the center, I included a link in the description below. Next is the high cost of living. The median sale price right now currently is about $850,000 and entry level homes usually start around $770,000 in most neighborhoods. Now, comparable homes obviously in Santa Barbara will typically sell for 30 to 40% more than Ventura. Now, overall, the cost of living in Ventura is 54% higher than the national average. 
The big difference is the cost of housing, which is about 158% more expensive than the national average. Next, transportation is about 15%, groceries 8%, healthcare about 7% higher than the national average. Taxes. California has the highest individual income tax burden of any state in the US, unfortunately. The California tax rate currently sits at 13.3% and is probably one of the biggest reasons people will leave the state because of taxes. So if you can put up with these cons, then Ventura may be one of the best small coastal towns on the California coast. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Thanks.